Neighbors, welcome back to the kitchen. Today, I was thinking about doing tapap. Tapap means rice bowl in Korean, and I wanted to do like a really good version. Not something that's fast, but something that's a little bit slower. We're gonna work with a pork belly, and we're gonna marinate it in some soy sauce. We're gonna do a boiled egg on the side, and then we're gonna add um, cheonggyeongchae. What is that in English? Bok choy. Yes, we're gonna add some bok choy, and it's gonna just be like an awesome meal that you can make for your family. And something that as soon as they take one bite, your eyes go <laughs> Alright, at the Korean market, this one is called Tong Samgyeok. Tong means whole and Samgyeok means pork belly. You know, in Korean barbecue, we slice these thinly. So ask for Tong. Tong to Tong Tong Tong. Alright, this is 500 grams. And uh, we're going to cut this in half so that it fits in our frying pan. Very easy. We're going to sear this a little bit later. And then of course for our lunchbox, we're going to add some bok choy. I'm going to add two for each lunchbox. We're gonna blanch this quickly. We're not gonna braise it with the meat or else it soaks in that soy sauce and that's way too salty. And then with the leftover water, we're gonna boil some eggs as well. Once it comes to a boil, we're gonna blanch our bok choy. I'll give it around 15 to 20 seconds. All right, that's good. I'll take them out. Good, you can squeeze the water out of it. Good, we'll set this aside just for now. Pot. Right, and in the pot, let's first of all, let's reduce the heat so it Calms down just slightly. Let's add a little bit of salt and then a splash of vinegar. Now I'm going to drop in around four eggs. One, four, and then we want six minutes on the clock. All right, that's time. The egg is very soft boiled. You see how much it goes in. But by the time we finish it, it's going to be like a hard boiled egg, but that's fine. Let's start off with some whole black pepper. I'm using 20. Then we have some bay leaves. This helps take away the porky smell. We'll do about four leaves. Then we're gonna do three squares of tashima. This is gonna make that soy sauce taste deeper. Then I have some ginger. I'm gonna scrape off the surface with the spoon. Maybe the size of your thumb, more or less. Uh, it doesn't have to be exact. I'm gonna cut it in half so it can release more and then we'll put it in. Two pieces in. Two tablespoons of sugar. This one, two. Now it's time to introduce the liquids. We're gonna do a fourth cup of mirin. Add that in. Then a fourth cup of soy sauce. Okay, I'll add that in. And then we're gonna add an equal amount of water so that the sauce doesn't burn as it braises down. Just give a little mix so that they can already start mixing before the heat. Oh, and one other thing. We need around 10 cloves of garlic. I almost forgot. Bad Daniel. We're gonna cut off the stem ends. By the time it finishes braising, the harshness in the garlic is gone and you just get like a, a light note of garlic. All right, and the next part is my favorite part. We're gonna sear all four sides of this pork belly. That malleard reaction gives that nice color on the outside, but also seals the juices to the inside. Now for the searing process, I'd recommend using a frying pan with a heavy bottom or you can just use your cast iron, perfect. There's plenty of oil in the pork belly, but I just wanted to get it started. To get a nice sear, you can Put them in a paper towel, get off any extra moisture, put it down. And once this starts going, there's no way anyone in the house is going to be able to uh, keep focus on what they're doing. They're all going to visit the kitchen. Let's flip it over. Ooh, beautiful. All right, guys, all four sides. So let's stack it up. Haha, <laughs> very nice. I want you to grab the pork belly, put it into a paper towel, pat it down. And this is just to soak up some of the extra oil. Um, that's just to prevent the marinade from getting too oily as soon as we put this in. The oils and the juices, they're trapped inside the meat. And now it's time to give this guy some flavor, okay? All right, one important note, all the sugar is have settled to the bottom. So you want to give this a mix and it can pour out of this. Look at the bottom, all the sugar has left. That's good. And then we can put in our delicious pork belly. All right, and it's time to braise. Let's give this 10 minutes on medium heat. All right, it's been around 10 minutes. Now what we're gonna do, let's take out the dashma pieces. I think there's one more in here somewhere. Let's flip this over now. And same thing for this. Oh, there it is. Flip it over. Nice, yes, yes. 
we're going to reduce this soy sauce down until it becomes very thick and that we're going to drizzle over our meat at the end. Yeah, we could take the bay leaves out too now if you like. Then let's give another five minutes. Important, I want you to reduce the heat from a medium to a medium low. The bubbles are getting big and we don't want it to reduce too fast. That was five minutes. We still got our garlic and our eggs. Add in the garlic here as well. Ooh, let's look at all the flavor. We're gonna add in our eggs now just to get a little bit of color. All right, and then set your timer for a final five minutes for the eggs and the garlic. I'm gonna use a spoon to get some sauce on these guys. I think we're almost there, just a little bit more. You see it's slightly runny. I want to get it a little bit more syrupy. Just look at the meat. <laughs> we got that sticky texture now. I'm sure the garlic has turned soft. Yep. Oh yes. That's going to be nice. And the eggs are looking mighty comfortable. Woo! And just take a look at that. This is the type of cooking that I really love. <laughs> wow. Let's just give it a few minutes to, to cool down. Scoop out our eggs as well as our garlic pieces. And then this, my friends, is that sauce that we're going to pour right, on top. Then the shot that I've been waiting for. Let's cut this up. Oh, ah, this looks so beautiful. Yes. Yes. Cooked perfectly. A lot of juices. It's very. Very juicy, if I press it, you'll see all the juices running out. The sides, very well. All right, let me give it a taste. Oh my God. That sauce is heavenly, y'all. Let's get some rice down. Let's get one of our bok choy right in the center. Let's get one of our eggs. <laughs> Beautiful chop. And there it is, my friends. This is a gourmet pork belly rice bowl. Don't forget about our sauce. All right, it's nice and thick. Just drizzle that over the top. Maybe touch our bok choy with it as well. Allow me to do the honors, get a little bit of rice, get our delicious pork belly. It's so flavorful. Mm. The garlic is like mashed potatoes. Then of course, get a bite of the egg. Fantastic. This pork belly is fantastic. You don't have to go to the restaurants to get that flavor. You can build it right at home. When you make it at home and you slice it, try to get it on the thinner side because it tastes even better and then you get more. I like mine a little bit on the fatter side, but it's up to you. If you haven't cooked for yourself in a long while, consider making top pop rice bowl.